Greetings family, welcome to this channel. I believe that you are all well by the special grace of the living God. People of the Most High God, today I will be giving a solution to that spiritual attack and that solution involves engaging scriptures from the word of God. Involves you waging a good warfare by making sure that your words are not empty in prayer but your words are backed up by scripture. The word of the Lord or the Bible tells us that God watches over his word to perform it. So in that battle that you're going through, in that struggle that you're going through, in that affliction that you're going through, in that sickness that you don't understand, in that generational curse that you don't understand, it is important that you wage war by engaging warfare scriptures. Now, people of the Most High God, what are these scriptures? These scriptures are a set of verses that are used for deliverance prayers. As you pray using the scriptures, you are engaging the word of God for your deliverance. You are engaging the word of God for you to be set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And again, people of the Most High God, the words that you release through the scriptures are the words to come against the works of darkness, are the words of protection, are the words of victory are the words for you to possess your possessions whatever the enemy has taken away from you it is for you to take it back take back your children take back your finances take back your joy it is the words that bring forth the light of god into your life and these are the words of faith and when we deal with warfare warfare seem seeming you know simply means you are fighting something you are conflicting with something you are coming against something you are coming against the works of darkness in your life in your family and we know that according to ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 to 12 it starts by saying that we need to put on the armor of god i have spoken about that before and i will make sure to link in that video and it continues to say to let us know that the war that we are fighting is not against flesh and blood but it is against principalities it is against powers it is against rulers it is against the works of darkness and people of the most high god i want you to know that for you to overcome effectively in that battle, you have got to engage the warfare scriptures when you pray. And as you do so, all works of darkness that have been assigned against your life will be completely terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The devil, as the word of the Lord tells us, he is moving around seeking for whom he may devour but in the season, minus you, because you have the word of God, you've got the sword of the spirit, you've got the light of God, and the light of God, you get it through his word. And today, that's what we are going to declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you right now, people of the most high God, from wherever you are, get set to do this confession in the name of Jesus Christ. This confession is backed up by scriptures, but as I confess it, you can join in with me. You can agree with me. This season, this year, the devil must lose his hand over your life. He must leave your family. He must leave your finances. He must leave your job. He must leave your health. Whatever that concerns your life, no more. The hands off your destiny. Hands off your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going to confess now. I want you to connect by faith. I want you to connect with your heart. I want you to connect with your spirit. I want you to connect with your mind. Whatever warfare you are facing, is it witchcraft attack? Begin to imagine it right now dismantling. You begin to managing to imagine it right now weakening. Begin to manage it to begin to imagine it right now burning into ashes, being ineffective over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, today we confess your word. 
as we pray today. Father, as this declaration is backed up by scripture, Lord, as many as will connect to this video, I declare that this word, this decree, this confession, this prayer will bring forth, O oh God, a mighty manifestation of your power in whatever battle they are faced with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, today we confess that no weapon that has been formed against your children will be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises up against them will be judged. It shall be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is our heritage as the servants of the Lord. And our righteousness is of the Lord. The Lord will disappoint the devices of the crafty against your people. No weapon from the places of witchcraft, from the evil shrines, will ever be able to prosper. Their hands will not be able to perform their wicked enterprises. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as I pray today, I decree and I declare everyone connected to this video, everyone watching right now, may you hide them in the secret place from the pride and the plans of the wicked. You will keep them secretly in their pavilion from the strife of tongues in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree today no word of curse, no word that has been sent to cause harm in their lives will ever materialize. Anyone expecting their downfall will live to see them go up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, according to Psalm chapter 5 verse 10, Lord, I pray that you destroy all wickedness that has been plotted against their lives. Let them fall, my God, into their own plots in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hole they've dug against them for your children to fall into it. Today we close that hole and we decree there shall be no bad news. Wickedness will not prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I decree and I declare by the special grace of the living God that there shall be deliverance, that they shall be set free, that they shall move forward, that they shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I decree that as your children will connect to this declaration, meditate on it, meditate on the word. Lord, I decree, may you set them free from all situations that have caused them tears in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I decree that as they connect to this video, may they receive a fresh fire for prayer. No enemy will frustrate them to the point where they cannot pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, today I decree by the special grace of God that Lord, by this prayer, all wasted efforts, all plans that they had for their lives that have not materialized in this season, I decree and I declare that, oh God, abundance shall be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my God, for it is done for them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Wonderful people of the Most High God, this is your confession. This is the prayer that we are praying against all powers of wickedness. This is the prayer that we are praying, decreeing the word of God in the confession to fight against all spiritual attacks. And as you do so, I decree your freedom. As you do so, I decree you are liberated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed as you connect to this prayer. Make sure you also take this prayer and declare it in your midnight. As I have also taught on that, the midnight is a the midnight hour is an hour of breaking forth. Make sure you declare it, and as you do so, God will bless you. Thank you so much for connecting to this video. Are you here? Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you comment down below and I will respond to you. Have you not subscribed yet? Make sure that you do so and God will bless you. Shalom. See you in my next video.